Hey everybody, today I want to show you how to use the Garmin Verb Edit software. Verb Edit is a program that you can download from the Garmin website and it allows you to import, edit, and then export video that you have recorded using your Garmin Verb and your Garmin Verb Elite. It is a free download. You can find it by going to Garmin.com and then typing Verb Edit into the search bar in the upper right hand corner. Verb Edit will be the first one under Recommended Results and clicking on that will bring you to the main product page and here you can find some information about the program and some of the features what exactly it does. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see that there are two different versions that you can download. They're both free. You can download Verbedit for PC or you can download it for Mac. Once you've downloaded it you will go to your start menu on a PC or you can open up your applications folder on a Mac and open up the program. First time you open it you're going to see a screen like this. It has that play button there in the middle and if you choose to play it that will show you a short tutorial video about the program. We're going to skip over that for now and we're going to start importing clips so that we can make our first video. There are two different ways that you can import clips into Verb Edit. The first way is that you can connect your Verb directly to your computer and it'll automatically pull that footage off of your camera. The other way is to select that button below it. It says Import Other and that way you can import other files that are already on your computer. That's what I'm going to do. So from this folder I'm going to select the very last one, Verb 0019. So I can select that, it's going to import it, and I can click on the Done button when it's all finished. So there's that clip I've imported down there on the bottom. I can just go ahead and watch that if I want. But what I really want to do today is create a video. So I'll select that there in the middle. And I can give my video a name. Uh, I can change it if I want. I'll just leave it as new video for now. So from this screen, I can start creating my video. I have the title along the top. I can change that. I can also back up and go out to my video gallery. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take that clip that I imported and drag that up there to the timeline. So now that is a part of my video. Right there in the middle is the timer shows you that you have a 23 second video right now. Uh, and then over there on the right it says no GPS info. That is if you're working with track logs and GPX files. I'm actually not going to worry about that for right now. just want to focus on editing. So I'm going to close that out. Uh, I want to play a little bit of this clip for you. Not all of it, but I'll start about there in the middle. So that play button is there on the left side. You also have that other button to the left of that. That will also play the video, but it'll play it from the beginning and in full screen. So I'll play it for you now. Here's what we have so far. Uh, this is actually um, part of an underwater video. Not completely, but the verb is IPX7 waterproof. So we do have some underwater video here. And what I want to do is trim this down a little bit. It's, it's a little too long, so I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I have those four buttons down there. And I'm on the one that says Clips. I'm going to go over to Edit. So what I want to do now is position that pointer about where I want my video to start. And then I have those three buttons there, uh, Trim Left, Split Clip, and Trim Right. I'll come back to those in a second. There's some controls over there on the left, the Play button, that back arrow will back it up one frame at a time, and then the forward arrow will move it forward one frame at a time. Uh, we can also control the volume as well as the speed of the video, speed it up or slow it down. What I want to do right now is delete some of this. So I'm going to position the pointer where I want my video to start. Three options, trim left, and when I select that, everything to the left of that pointer is going to be deleted. When I select trim right, everything to the right is going to disappear. And if I select split clip, it's just going to split it right down the middle, and I can do what I want with those two different sections. For right now, though, I'm going to trim left. I want to delete everything that's happened before this point in the video. Right now it's 23 seconds long. You'll see when I hit trim left, we are left with a, well it says a six second video. There's a bit of a rounding discrepancy there, but we have deleted uh, about 16, 17 seconds from our original video. Now I want to watch it, see how it looks, and get a feel for it. That's pretty good. I do think I want to trim a little bit more off the beginning. I think I'd like uh, the video to start maybe about right there. So I'll position the pointer, hit trim left again, took another couple seconds off, and I'll double check it now. So that's good. I'm pretty happy with that for the time being. 
Now we've looked at two of the buttons on the bottom, clips and edit, but there's two more left, music and overlay. Overlay has to do with your GPX file again, either taken from your GPS track log or taken from your Verb Elite. And there's different information that you can add on, general, automotive, cycling, different data from the track log. You can change the appearance a little bit. Uh, beyond the scope of what I wanna do in this video, which is more just show you about editing. So we will get into that in some other videos. Here's a cool one though, because you can actually add music to your video. So just select add music on the right. You can import an MP3 file and there it shows it over on the right side, the name of the track that you've just added and over on the left as well. Some control buttons there on the left side. Uh, that button will move you back five seconds. The one, the forward button will move you forward five seconds, but it's only a four second video. So that's why it's only moving in those increments. The button in the middle, of course, will play your video back with music. So let's uh, take a look at our video now from the beginning with music. Now you're not able to control at what point the music starts. Even though we have a piece of music that's 51 seconds long, we only have a four second video. So we're only going to hear the first four seconds of that song in our video. You do have some control over the volume though. Uh, there's that volume bar down there at the bottom so you can increase the sound of the music. If you go back to the edit button, you can decrease the sound of the video. So you can mix that a little bit, turn one up, turn the other down. For the time being though, I don't think I want to have music in this video. So I'll just right click it over there on the timeline, remove it from the video and uh, we'll just stick with it as it was originally. So let's take a look now at our video from the beginning. This time though, we're gonna use the play button on the very left and we're going to view the video in full screen. So I'm happy with my video. What I'd like to do now is go ahead and export it. I have two buttons, two options in the upper right hand corner. I have export and I have YouTube. When I select export, it's gonna allow me to save this as a file on my computer. Uh, it'll be an MP4 file and you can choose your resolution between HD 1080p, HD 960p, HD 720p and 480p. So select the size, hit export, and that'll prompt you to give your file a name and a destination. Your other option is to export it directly into your YouTube account from Verb Edit. So if you go back, click on YouTube, and I'll close this out for now and show you this screen. Uh, but you can give your video a title, fill in the description, give it tags, select the category, do all that, sign into your YouTube account, and then hit upload. And it's all going to be uh, sent right onto your YouTube account automatically from the Verb Edit software. Once you've done all that, you can go back out to your video gallery, you can import more clips, create another video, you can play back videos that you've already created. Uh, you have that picture of a gear in the lower right hand corner. If you select that, that's going to bring you back to this uh, editing page so you can make further changes to your video if you want. So that is a quick look at how to import, edit, and export using the Garmin Verb Edit software.